Hi, I'm Andrew from the Attachment Company and today we're going to take a quick look at the model 6000-40 Auger Drive from Auger Torque. This drive suits high horsepower, high flow skid steers and excavators from the 5 ton to 10 ton range. For our attachments, we class a high flow skid steer as anything over 30 gallons a minute. High flow skid steers aren't always over 30 gallons. Some smaller horsepower skid steers that are still have a high flow option can be 25 to 28 gallons a minute. But this drive is ideally suited for larger machines in the 30 to 40 gallons a minute range. For excavators, this drive suits anything from 5 to 10 tonnes. Ideally suited at roughly 8 tonne machines, PC88s, Komatsu's, Cat 308s, that sort of size machine. The oil flow range for this unit is 20 to 40 gallons a minute. So if you're running at low 20 gallons a minute, you just get less output shaft speed. If you're running high, up to 40 gallons a minute, you get more speed. And the pressure determines the torque that you get from the drive. So this unit runs up to a roughly 3400 PSI. So if you're running 3000 to 3400 PSI, you're getting the most torque out of the drive. Pressure doesn't make a difference to the speed and flow again doesn't make a difference to the torque. So you can check out all the specs on our website for the flow rates, operating pressures, weights, machine suitable, suitable machines, all that stuff is listed on the website. But if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Now this is how the drive will come boxed in a wooden crate. This is good obviously because it protects the drive, protects the hoses that come with the drive and lets us get this on a pallet as well as all the other stuff, the mount, the augers, whatever else you've ordered, lets us get it all on the one pallet. If we attach this drive to the skid steer mount, um, it takes up a lot more space on the pallet and doesn't let us get as much other stuff on there. Um, but just so you're aware, this is how it does come up. It doesn't come attached to the mount that you may buy with it. Um, we'll look at the mounts later as far as skid steers and excavator mounts options. Uh, but this is how it will come boxed up with the hoses in it, the drive in it. So, like I mentioned, you do get hoses uh, with the drive, they're kind of sandwiched in here, so once we pull the drive out, we'll take a look at the hoses and the drive and how that all hooks up. Um, so, let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. As you can see, <clears throat> we include three quarter inch hoses with each drive. We also include adapters that go from the hydraulic motor to the hose itself. Now the motor has one inch ports so these adapters adapt from one inch down to three quarter inch and they, this male male lets you get out of the hose ports and let you get a wrench on tighten up the ports properly. We do not include flat face couplers with the 6000-40, but they are available upon request. Usually machines in this range will have a three quarter inch flat face. So if you do need a set of those, uh, just let us know. So the ports on the motor, the hose fittings are all BSP fittings, which is a British standard. This uh, is on the motor side, the hose side and the adapter side. If you need another type of fitting to go to your machine or to go to your flat face couplers. Probably the best way of doing it is using these adapters. That'll get you to your hose. Then cutting off the side or going to a hydraulic shop, getting them to cut off the other side and put on maybe a GIC or whatever the fitting is that you need. Um, that way it lets you get out the motor, it lets you use the full hose and saves you a bit of money there won't cost much to get them to cut that off, put on whatever adapter or fitting that you need and then you're good to go. Um, if you order some flat face couplers from us, you would get them that would be a, again BSP so that you could basically go straight to the hose and you'd be ready to go. Every drive of course comes with an operator's manual. Be sure to just flick through that before you uh, connect anything, before you start running, before you start drilling any holes. 
Again, you'll get one uh, pin that goes through your output shaft and through your auger or whatever attachment's going on. Now, as you can see, there is actually two holes in the output shaft on these drive. Basically, we lengthened the output shaft and fitted another hole uh, to suit basically all two and a half inch hex augers. So again, this drive is a two and a half inch hex as opposed to the standard two inch hex. Um, so any augers that you buy would have to be a two and a half, or we can supply an adapter that would adapt down from a two and a half to a two inch hex uh, drive. That way you could use all your existing augers if you've already got some two inch hex. Um, otherwise, you would need to order some two and a halves. Our two and a half inch hex augers are obviously bigger, they're longer, they're more heavy duty to cope with the extra torque. Again, this torque, uh, this drive unit puts out probably twice the torque of a standard drive unit. So uh, you do have to be careful if you are going to use ex standard two inch hex augers. Um, just keep that in mind. As you can see, there's one main pin that goes through the hood of the drive, what we call the hood. That would then pin through this would be a linkage block that would go from the drive to whatever the mount is you're putting on it. So if it's a skid steer or an excavator mount, it would use this same block. And basically that lets the drive move left and right, forward and back and swing free. That way when you're on a slope, your drive's still uh, straight up and down. So this linkage block wouldn't come with the drive, but it will come with a mount. Again, skid steer mount, excavator mount, whatever uh, mount you order will come with one of these. If you're planning on building your own mount, um, again, contact us. You can order, say, the linkage block to help you out. You can order a cradle, which I'll show you in a bit, or you can order just a skid steer cradle, um, basically any parts to let you build your own mount, but definitely one of these um, and even a cradle would help you save a lot of time and a lot of money. Of course, the drive comes filled with gearbox oil, basically ready to go to work. As soon as you connect your hoses and start running some fluid through it, you will, it will start spinning. Uh, the drive or auger torque recommend running the drive about 5-10 minutes in each direction just to lubricate everything, get everything heated up, make sure everything's good before you actually go put stress, start drilling holes. Um, so again, just 5-10 minutes before you start anything, just spin the drive con constantly and just heat everything up, make sure everything's good, then you can go to work. When it gets to the stage that you need to carry out an oil change, that's what this port uh, here is for in the gearbox. So obviously you've got your gearbox that contains uh, the planetary gears that help amplify the torque from the motor. So you, over time, obviously, you want to change that gearbox oil. So you would just stand up the drive, let it drain out of the port, fill that back, uh, screw that back in, fill up your gearbox, and you'll be good to go. So that covers the drive itself. Next, we're going to show you the different mounts that you can use for the skid steers and the excavators. Universal skid steer mount for the 6000-40 drive unit. It is the same as all of our other skid steer mounts that can be picked up by any universal quick attach. The cradle bolts on to the frame and the linkage block, as we discussed earlier, pins through the drive. The cradle helps hold the drive and stop it swinging round. The hose spring at the top is basically to root through your hoses and keep them nice and clean, tight into the machine and stop them hanging out and getting damaged. Now let's look at the excavator mount setups for the 6040. And lastly, this is our excavator mount for the 6000-40. We use a similar style cradle that goes on the skid steer mount, but to suit excavators. And basically, this is how it comes with the same linkage block. Um, it's straight up and down vertical. What we then do is basically weld either a flat plate on top <clears throat> and build a standard double pin mount that you can either pin on the machine or pick up with your coupler. Again, these would be built to order. So we have a lot of machine dimensions, uh, pin dimensions on file, but if we don't, we might ask for just a couple measurements of the pin diameter or the pin spacing. Or if you have a quick connect style, like the Bobcat Exchange, the Wayne Roy that comes on a lot of Takuchi machines, or if you have a Kubota style quick connect, John Deere style wedge lock, any type of coupler. Basically we use the exact same cradle. We again either just weld this on top, weld basically whatever mount plate that you need um, on top of the cradle and that way you can pick it up with your machine and it's, it's the same, exactly the same as picking up any other bucket or any other attachment. 
Um, sometimes these styles work out slightly more expensive just because we have to either source them out or buy the mount plate from directly from Bobcat or whoever. Um, obviously the standard double pin and the, even the Kubota styles and the John Deere are a lot quicker and easier for us to cut the parts and weld uh, within a week or so. Um, again, depending on the Quick Connect style, it would just depend on if we've got the mount plate in stock um, or if we need to order it in and kind of the price on that. But uh, as far as listed on the website, the excavator package for the 6000-40 covers your drive and your mount. If you've got any questions on how it would mount or what the lead time would be, or you've got a particular specialised type coupler or whatever it may be, uh, again, don't hesitate to get in touch. And uh, hopefully this video has answered a lot of your questions on the 6000. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel where we'll be posting a lot more videos like this to try and give people an idea, you know, more of an idea of how the attachments come, how they're packaged, just so they know what to expect when they show up and there's no surprises. Um, and we'll also obviously be posting hopefully some nice videos of our attachments uh, in the field at work doing what uh, you buy them to do. So uh, please yep, like and subscribe to our channel and uh, let's take a look at the 6000 in action.